All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at Mohammed Abdallah from the Flagler Beach things. First, second take, first take, I said, I almost said Petaluma, and then I almost said Long Beach, uh, so just didn't come out the right way, so I had to fucking redo it. <laughs> but yes, Mohammed Abdallah from the, uh, uh, I almost did it again, Flagler Beach <laughs> thing. Probably one of the more requested, well, I don't know if it's actually one of the most requested, but there was, I remember at one point, there was some guy in the comment section, I don't even know if he's still around, who was, like, requesting the Muhammad Abdallah video for, like, so long. So, I mean, here we go, we got it here, <laughs> finally, all these years later. Um, so, yeah, let's just, let's do it, man, you know, let's get into it. You know, I woke up this morning feeling good. You know, I figured, why the hell not, dust off the, uh, the microphone here and fucking record some... Some bullshit, I guess. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Let's go. This is gonna be a long one, I have a feeling. Sam, why don't you go downstairs? Guys, pull And it up starts Sammy. off, you know, starts off, you see uh, Sam uh, Cope, the decoy. I wonder how things are going for her in her marriage, of course. She got married uh, somewhat recently to some famous guy who I don't really know. Uh, so, I, I mean, how famous is he? But, you know, I wonder how that's going. <laughs> <laughs> Real life update. Later that evening, most of those same officers are working one of the biggest investigations they've ever tackled. That's right, this is the guy. They let off. He let off Police the episode. I don't remember, was he part one or part two? You know, it's always great. You know, it's, it's, like, it's, like, a, it's like an album opener, you know? It sets the whole tone for the show, man, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like fucking... Blood and Thunder on Mastodon, you know, of Mastodon. You know, you hear that song, man? Oh, you know this album's gonna rip, man. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, you go from that, and so you have Muhammad Abdallah leading it off. Really unlikable fucking, oh, man, it gets your blood boiling a little bit. <clears throat> it's a good, it's a good, it's a good one to lead off with. And I know that in, I forget which order it was in. One of them was part one, one of them was part two, but the other one was Safraz and, um... Uh, fucking Yaz as for uh, Slaves to Mistresses and Tennis Boy. Uh, so, I mean, that's a good one to set the pace as well. You know, set the tone as well. You know, you get these guys. It's com It's a comical situation, man. And, uh, you know, it really, really does set the bar. Um, I don't know if Flagler, where it ranks in my favorite stings. It's, it's, it's a, not a bad one. It's not, you know, probably middle of the pack sting. Um, there are some good ones. I usually watch it every year at uh, Christmas time. It is the Christmas episode, in my opinion. They start off with the paragliding or the parachuting Santa Claus, of course, at the beginning of the episode. So <laughs> it's, I call it the Christmas episode. You know, just like Murphy is the Halloween episode because it's got like the jack o' lanterns and shit outside the house. So a little bit of festive, festivity tea cap here, festive tea cap. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm watching this in July. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It doesn't fucking matter. Let's just keep going. Hiding in a garage behind our latest undercover house, waiting to arrest the man who's about to walk inside. I mean, you know, I forgot he was a, uh, I forgot he was a night guy. I, I, for some reason, I remembered him coming in the day. I haven't watched Muhammad in a long time. Um, I don't really even know why I fucking just decided to randomly pick Muhammad out of the ones here that we're gonna do. But whatever, you know, I, I haven't watched this in so long. So it might be, it might make the video a little bit better. I don't really have anything rehearsed or anything, so it's just kind of off the cuff here. So fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. 34-year-old Mohammed Abdallah works in real estate. He's married and has an 8-year-old daughter. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Good. How's your drive? Good. Can I leave this door open? He comes in a very great fucking smooth opening line. Can I leave this door open? <laughs> real smooth, real smooth, of course. Way to go, Mohammed. It's fine. He was probably a big, he was probably a big fucking talker, you know, he, I mean, well, I mean, we're gonna see his chat log here. Chat log's not available, uh, for whatever reason. Well, I know the reason, you know, I mean, he left the country, so he was never convicted, uh, technically, so, you know, but that's what I'm saying, you know, I mean, you don't have the chat log to cross-reference here, which kind of sucks, but, you know, I have a feeling he was a big fucking talker, you know, talking about, oh, man, he probably is, you know, like, hey, I'm a fucking stud, you know, I'm, I'm fucking Mohammed, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, uh, could make a joke, I'm not gonna make a joke, it's okay, but, 
Let's just Long keep before going. he got to the house, Abdallah used the screen names Blondie Nine, nineteen seventy-two, and Midos, nineteen seventy-two. Huh. I wonder what year he was born. Someone who told him she's a thirteen-year-old girl. So I'm gonna go out now. But he was really talking uh, to a decoy for the online watchdog group Perverted Justice, a group we hired we because of its experience here. pretending to be teens online who are curious about. Sex. Who's this guy with the fucking <laughs> ponytail? What the fuck? Who is this guy? That's a guy, right? I don't know. <laughs> About sex. <laughs> yeah, it's a guy. Who the fuck is that? I've never Chad seen him before. Abdallah wants to know the girl's bra size, whether she slept with her old boyfriend, if she masturbates, and if she's ever performed oral sex. Ugh. Then he says he wants the to trifecta, the grand slam there of uh, <laughs> of predator. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> perform. Or <laughs> I love that. You know. The superimposed fucking slappable face. He has a really slappable face, man. You have to you have to admit that, man. You know, but then uh, just throw that in there. Background shot of the guy typing. It's just this fucker's ugly fucking face right here. All sex on her. It will be nice. I think you will love it. <laughs> and I love... <laughs> I love this profile picture here. It's obviously... I mean, it's obviously years and years and years old at this point. <clears throat> but it's like him in a convertible inside like a garage, it looks like. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, I'm so cool. I got my cool American sports car. Yo, I'm living living the life. It's like not like like just like hey, it's probably like his friends or something. It's like, yo man, can I take a picture? I need a picture for my Yahoo profile, man. I gotta pick up the fucking tail these days. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I so you know, I gotta show off that I have a cool fucking you know convertible car. You know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> and he, so you guys like, okay, oh, fine, fine, Mohammed, just yeah, whatever, just just shut up already. And so he fucking takes this picture. It's like, yeah, man, now now these you know underage girls are gonna love me, man. You know that's what I'm saying. And um. Because <laughs> he does, he didn't show up in this car. You know, it's a, it's Florida. This is that that car is appropriate for every fucking hour of the. Well, I mean, not with the top down, but you get my point. You know, you, you don't have to worry about fucking snow or anything. So that car is appropriate in the winter time in December, Mohammed. So I mean, why if he if this is actually his car, why didn't he take it? He showed up in some fucking truck. But you will need to open your legs all the way. <laughs> then all the way. Oh, I didn't even know. I never board. noticed that typo before. You, but you will need to open your legs all away. <laughs> Wrong word there, Mohammed. Then he suggests the girl perform oral sex on him, and uh -oh. Abdullah sends Ew. along these naked pictures. Note the distinctive <laughs> necklace the man is wearing. He's like, he's like, I got myself covered. I covered my tracks, man. I didn't show my face. They'll never be able to know it's me. And like most of our potential predators, Abdullah makes a date online to come to visit the teen when she says she's home alone. You can shut it if you want that front door. No. <laughs> They're still just talking about the fucking front door. I like to imagine that this like conversation was was going on the entire time when they were doing like the voiceover. <laughs> you know, he's just the whole time he got in there, but they did the voiceover, and he's still just yapping about the door the whole time. Oh well, I don't know. Is it? It's kind of cold in here. I don't know. Should I shut the door or not? I don't know. You know, I don't know. But uh, no, of course it obviously wasn't like that but i just like it's kind of funny you know to imagine that it did at our house and he doesn't know it's outfitted with multiple hidden cameras <laughs> that record his i think that's the exact same graphic that they used for the introduction last time when they showed safraz coming into the house Entered. pretty sure it's the exact same also graphic out of sight are a large dateline crew and members of perverted justice hey how are you uh -oh. Put, seat right over there hey. So what uh, what made you come on over here tonight? I was just the best, I'm right there. Yeah, and so you just happened to be going by and you saw this blonde woman out there, and she waved at you. <laughs> yes, she waved. That at explains me. everything, doesn't it? <laughs> she waved at me. She I'm, just waved at I'm you. I'm thinking she owns the house. I would try yeah. to tell her what is it, and just yes. she say, "Come in." Come, Come in. in. No. And so you just walk right in? No, not just walk. It's just a while. I ask her, you know, what, what's this door? Like, what an amazing coincidence. So I don't think... <laughs> I don't think Mohammed understands uh, sarcasm very well because, you know... He's going with it here. Chris is kind of leading him on. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a great story. Oh, this guy's got a smile on his face. Still kind of like, oh, man, is he actually buying this? I don't know. I, I got to keep going. I got to keep going with it. I guess he's buying this. 
<laughs> but then Chris comes in with the, uh, with the obvious, obvious. I mean, anyone should be able to detect that this is sarcasm right here from Hanson. So he comes in with the, what an amazing coincidence. What an You're amazing coincidence. <laughs> and now he kind of, he kind of dumbs the act down a little bit there. Driving along and this good looking young girl waves you in. That's amazing. <laughs> That, that's amazing. And he just goes, I know. <laughs> Half buying into his own fucking shit right there. Oh, God. Yeah, not great there by Mohammed. I, uh, you know, I gotta give him points, though, for trying. Um, you know, I mean, um, you know, sticking with it so long. JPW would be proud, I think, of that uh, story right there. But, uh, yeah, obviously not gonna work. <clears throat> What do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? <laughs> and Hanson just shits on him. Ooh. Ooh. And then you get a good look at Mohammed here. It looks like, I don't know if he just, I don't know, what, why is it like, 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 I don't, white over here. Like, what is that? Like, did he just miss a spot shaving or something? I don't fucking know. Why, what, what is that? Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, again, very punchable face. You just want to smack this fucking guy, you know? And uh, you would be justified in doing so i would say that's how it is that's, that's just how it is and then he like, goes that's just how it is him know. <laughs> you know that's just how it is he, so he's still kind of going with that story and he's still rambling on in the background during this fucking narration <laughs> i wonder what the hell he's saying he's still just saying the same shit oh, that we know he wasn't just and Hanson looks a little rough scene. here man you know i mean Again, it is justifiable. All the stress of the Murphy situation, the sting right after Murphy, you know, it's kind of weighing down on him, you know. I mean, um, you know, the future of the show up in the air, you know. I mean, uh, you know, the status of those convictions are all up in the air, man. Um, of those cases, I guess, not convictions. Um, but yeah, Hanson's got the bags under his eyes. Just didn't sleep well last night, you know, stressed out, man. I gotta make sure that, hey, I can't let that happen again. You gotta make sure that none of these fuckers are bringing, are, are, are doing this shit again, you know? But, uh, yeah, not like the, uh, Fort Myers thing where he, uh, you know, got some great seafood, you know, took a vacation beforehand and, uh, you know, got some good R&R. &R. <laughs> not, not quite the same. As uh, his last trip to Florida, was doing some sightseeing and looking for real estate. Now the problem with all that is, is, is that I know that you were sight. He said sightseeing. <laughs> sightseeing. I don't know when the fuck he showed up here. I'm guessing this is like the middle of the night, uh, just because he had, I I take uh, Blondie here, Mohammed, as a uh, a uh, you know a, a late uh, you know a late sleeper. Um, so I, I imagine this is kind of late, middle of the night kind of thing. Uh, so he's going to go do fucking sightseeing. What the fuck kind of sightseeing are you even going to do for in the dark like that? But also, uh, do I have a tab open? Yes, I do. Hang on one sec. What the fuck is there even to do in Flagler Beach? <laughs> uh, things to do. Flagler Beach, Florida. Fuck it. Uh, I'm never going to go there. I can't spell it correctly. It's all right. So, yeah, I mean, hit the beach. Okay, so here we go. Visit Florida.com. Fucking propaganda site here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, hit the beach. That makes sense. You know, it's in the fucking uh, screen. It's in the fucking name of the town. That makes sense. Swim with the dolphins. You're not going to do that in the middle of the night. Uh, paddle out. I mean, yeah, you're probably not going to do that in the middle of the night either. Uh, yeah, uh, the State Park, Washington o Oaks Gardens State Park. Uh, let's take a look at this ass right here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I uh, can't even fucking see it anyway, but, um... <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you're probably not gonna do that in the middle of the night. Uh, meals with a view. Uh, well, probably everything's closed at this point, so, yeah, probably not gonna do that. Hammock Beach Resort. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that either. I'm a single guy. Or, well, he's not a single guy. He's a uh, married guy, but he's here by himself, so, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what else have we got? Retail therapy. I guess that means shop till you drop. Um... And Mohammed, I mean, he could get another one of those handcrafted necklaces, perhaps, but uh, not in the middle of the night. You're not going to do that. Cruise, I'm sick of reading this crap. Cruise A1A. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I guess it's a highway. Oh, is that the highway? Oh, shit. I think that's the highway. That's probably the highway that um, 
the house is on. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, horseback riding? Yeah, not gonna do that in the middle of the night. Florida Agricultural. There's only ten of these, right? Yeah, thank God this is the last one. Agricultural Museum. Um, yeah, no, you're there. That's, that's probably close. There's eleven! They fucking lied to me! What the fuck? Okay, I'm not reading all of these, goddammit. But look at this here. It says top ten things to do. Fuck you, man. You expect me to read all this crap here? I got the 10, and then, oh, they throw an 11 at me. They throw a 12 at me. Jesus, how many fucking are there? Holy shit, there's a lot to do in Flagler Beach. I'm never going to go there, though, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, but, like, don't fucking lie to me like that. Like, don't lie in the fucking headline here, man. Ugh, annoying. All that just to say <laughs> what we already know, that fucking Mohammed is full of shit. I <laughs> mean, we all fucking know that. <laughs> just had to prove my point there a little bit. Online <clears throat> with a girl who said she was 13. She gave you directions to come over here. Did she say I was 13? <laughs> she said she was. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. So she said I was 13? No, no. She said she was 13. Why would she say that you were 13, Mohammed? Ay, ay, ay. He's like, oh man, she set me up, man. She set me up. I, I don't know. I checked, you with, tell a me, of, you I checked with a lot of people online. Then I show him these pictures he sent. <laughs> I love how all those pictures look like they're exactly. from years ago. Ah, fuck. Uh, you have, okay, so, I mean, this one maybe is kind of recent. Why did he get rid of the mustache? <laughs> oh, God. Mohammed's just living his best life, man. Is that you, these pictures there? It looks like me, yeah. It looks like you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I showed him those naked pictures. <laughs> okay, how about That's that? That's gotta be surreal, man. To just I don't know if I don't know if they blurred them at all beforehand before they printed them out. But like you just get showed your pictures of your dick. That's gotta be a surreal fucking moment, man, you know. Is this is this you? Uh, I highly doubt that. <laughs> oh god. It looks like me too. Yep, yeah, that one. Yep. That one? And you keep, has to keep looks, pointing yeah. at all three. Like, they all look like the same exact person, but you know, you just have to clarify. I think Hanson took a good, I think Hanson took good pleasure in uh, kind of screwing with this guy. <laughs> then I remind him what he told the girl who said she was 13. You ask her what she's doing. She said she's sleeping on her back. And you say sleep on your... Oddly specific. Sleeping on her back. Back and open them wide open. open. What did you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, you know, what does he mean by that? You know, I've been watching this shit since, like, probably uh, 2018. Late 2018, perhaps. I still have no fucking clue what he meant by that. Sleep on your back and open them wide? Like, I mean, it's a suggest... It's very suggestive what he means by that. But, like, what specifically does he mean by that? What did you mean by that? Hang on, go back. And you say sleep on your back and open them wide open. Open, open them you... wide open. It's kind of redundant. You don't need the two opens there. But, you know, it doesn't make any... I, I'm, 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 I, like, what specifically do you mean by that? Obviously, he wants her to practice having her legs spread, pulling the Jeff Stacy with your legs spread... <clears throat> and, um, you know, but, but in your sleep, you're not going to do that in your sleep. Or is he kind of, is he kind of insinuating, is that even the right word? I don't fucking know. Uh, is he insinuating that he's, uh, <laughs> going to like come over in the, you know, like, like Nightman. <laughs> Always sunny reference for you and fucking rape her in her sleep or something like that. You know, maybe. I don't fucking, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think that's what he was going for, but, you know, it's a reference that I can make uh, that some people might get, some people might not get. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, like the Nightman, of course. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's interesting for sure. I don't know what the hell, uh, why he said that. Like, it's just like, he's just trying to fit sex into every conversation. Like, hey, oh, I'm sleeping. Oh, well, you're sleeping. Well, A, you better be dreaming of me. A, you better have your legs wide open. And, uh, yeah, just just all that shit, you know. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at school. Oh, I hope you're daydreaming. I hope you're thinking of me. Like, fucking all these uh, needy-ass motherfuckers, you know. Is he, is he one of those? Like, oh, you better be thinking of me every time, I, every time you leave the house. Every time you look away, you better be thinking of me. Yeah, fuck you, Mohammed. What is it? I don't know. This is your chat with the girl who told you she was 13. <laughs> when was that? This particular one was <laughs> December that? 3rd at 10.32 and 29 seconds 
in the morning. <laughs> he's like so shocked that he has it pinned down to the fucking second. He's like, what the fuck kind of technology is this? Is you got is this a government agent? I don't is this a recording? I chat in the morning. You don't chat in the morning. No. Are you computer generated? Oh. Well, here, right here, you say you're in your office. So that's consistent with what you just told me. <laughs> Again, so shocked face, shocked reaction. You know, he has no fucking clue, man, what he's walked into here. He has no idea who he's messing with. They were messing with, do you realize who you're messing with? You're messing with fucking Frag, man. You're messing with fucking Del Harvey and Chris Hansen, man. That's the fucking trifecta, you know. Nobody ever gets away from them except for you know uh you know the murphy preds uh you know uh, except for you know fucking uh you know uh what the fuck's his name uh moffitt thomas moffitt you know except for those guys you know except for michael willis uh you know who else <laughs> but you get my point you talk about licking her she <laughs> says i don't really know much about <laughs> licking and stuff then oh, you say, shit. You know, oh shit oh <coughs> shit <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I couldn't mute it in time. I couldn't do anything. Oh, God. You know, this is, like, the most I've talked, I think, in probably, like, in, in such a long time. <laughs> so, I'm not used to this. Uh, so, you know, I, I got my fucking throat is acting up now. Fuck. Like to try? She says, might be interesting. I will never say it to someone <laughs> Brushes like off. that. Never. Brushes it off. It will off. be nice. I think you will love it. Never. Never. Never, Never. Ever. ever. So he pulls the old Alan Chernay there. Who did it better, Alan Chernay or uh, Mohammed here? So uh, you get, of course, if you know, don't recall Alan Chernay in the Murphy, Texas thing in the interrogation says, or the interrogator says, "Have you ever had sex with the underage?" And he goes, "Never, never, ever." <laughs> I almost walked out the moment I walked in. Oh, oh. Fucking Alan Churning, man. What a goof. <laughs> oh, man. But it's still one of my favorites, though. It never gets old, Alan Churning, man. Um, but yeah, then you have this guy saying, never, ever. And then you get his little addendum here. You know, I'm an Egyptian. I'm Muslim. I don't do this stuff. We'll and then at the fucking end. You know, I wonder, he's just holding that in the back, you know, pulling that one out. You know, he waited a little bit to pull that out. I guess I give him respect, but then he brings out, you know, the race cards. He's, I wonder if he's, like, thinking, you know, insinuating, hey, you're only doing this to me because I'm Egyptian and Muslim. You know, of course, it has nothing to fucking do with your fucking race or religion. Ay, ay, ay. And then, of course, you know, you get into all the, you know, hypocritical th aspects of it that I guess I just won't get into. But, you know, it's, it's still a fucking annoying, man, you know, that people bring that up. Like it matters. <laughs> no, no Egyptian or Muslim has ever done anything wrong in their life. You know, you're, you're just fucking. The, 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 you're fucking perfect, Mohammed. You know, fucking asshole. Look at him with his stupid fucking sweater on. <laughs> oh God. All over. It's not me. It's and it's like, me. am I? Oh wait, hang on. Reference here to make. Um. I didn't want to forget about this. It's not the best angle of it, but it is the uh, I, I, the male camel toe. I don't know what they actually call it. There's like an actual phrase for it. Um, okay, well, okay. I didn't need to see all this. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, m moose knuckle. That's what it is. Thank you. Dictionary.com of all fucking places has it. <laughs> the moose knuckle. Yeah, Mohammed's got a pretty good moose knuckle going on here. Uh, let me get uh, um, uh, It's not the best angle of it here. I don't really feel like scrolling through the whole fucking thing to find the right angle of this guy's fucking moose knuckle. <laughs> but he's got one going on. Um, and it's pretty gross. Um, yeah, it actually inspired uh, the... Was it the one that inspired on the Temple of Teacap forum way back when? Inspired the now monster thread that is the little things you notice thread or is that yeah i think that's the little things you notice about tcap thread that's the that's the post that started it all it's really funny that the post that started it all is something so stupid like this but that's the nature of tcap that's the nature of this fandom <laughs> oh my god i forgot to say we're in the fucking flagler house i forgot to fucking say it. it's fucking tradition <clears throat> And this house is really cool. Looks like restaurant. 
<laughs> Shout out to Juan Lee, my boy. No, no, no. And I was, before you do that, I need to tell you something. <laughs> I love this here. He's about to leave. He's about to leave. Hanson, Hanson reels him back in here. I love it when Hanson is able to do that. This guy just goes against all of his instincts here. <laughs> he says, oh, I'm about to leave. But then Hanson throws him out with a, uh, reels him back in with a, you know, I need to tell you something. I love it. I love it when Hanson does that. <laughs> Gets these guys to just fucking face the moment of shame here. I love it. No, no, no. And I was like, before you do that, I need to tell you something. Yeah, yeah it gets his attention. Full attention. Hansen with Dateline NBC. Ooh. And we're doing a story on I love it. men. <laughs> Sits back down. Like, oh, man, is this going to be a real interview now or what? I don't know. But then the cameras come out. To meet right back up. Underage kids online Ooh. for sex. <laughs> Abdallah doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> I love how the voiceover is like blaming him for not, for not wanting to talk to him. Like like you could like it's like like you could like he's in the wrong for wanting to get up out of there. Jesus Christ, that's hilarious though. I never understood what the fuck he does at the beginning here. Why is he covering his face with his elbow? How does that make any sense? Abdallah doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> oh, poor Abdallah. Poor Hanson. The Flagler Beast. <laughs> Not as charming as you thought, I guess, Hanson. Are racing into position. There you go. Pretty good arrest here He's as well. Going to run. He starts to make. He starts like the half ass. It makes like a quick, you know, three step jog. Uh, uh, you know, break for it, and that's all. That's all the fucking Florida cops here need to see is a guy. Is a guy kind of starting to make a break for it. That's all that they need to see to fucking spring into action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they get a pretty good takedown here. It's pretty funny. He's going to run. The police come down hard. <laughs> I love this fat cop. Is late to the party just by a split second. You know, he's like, God damn it, just missed it by a split second. Um, he fucking eats ass right there. Face plant. Oh, not really a face plant, but still, he kind of eats ass right there. Dives, trying to make the heroic stop right there, but kind of eats it. That's the fat cop who yells at. Um, at Kelly, Daniel Kelly, uh, DJ, Peter uh, Kelly, uh, you know, who tells, tells him to let go of the keys. So, you know, he was probably already pissed. I, you know, I don't know who showed up before who, but, you know, it, it, especially, either way, if he was, he was probably already pissed. It, so, so both situations. So if, if Abdallah showed up first, he was already pissed for the rest of the sting because he missed his fucking tackle here. So he's going to take it out on Daniel Kelly. If it's the other way around, he's pissed off at Daniel Kelly for being a smart-ass, wise-ass fucking dick. And uh, he's going to take it out on everybody else, going and trying to go more aggressive into these tackles. I would not like to see him afterwards, you know, in that second scenario. He'd probably be like, oh, man, I missed the fucking tackle. I got snark from Daniel Kelly. Oh, man, this next guy has no fucking clue what's coming, man. I'm about to pull my gun out and fucking pop him in the head if I have to. I'm getting my way. No, it's all good. But it's just funny as hell. <laughs> it kind of eats ass here. And Muhammad gets right into the gravel. <laughs> he stays on his face. Come on out, sir. Step out of the vehicle. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I love that. Fleeting his fucking case. Like, you know, like, dude, you're already in cuffs. You're already at the police station. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to let you go now. <clears throat> You know, it's not. Police <laughs> state. You can see the gravel still on his face. That's hilarious. A uncooperative at first. Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> listen okay. to me. Okay. Right? We don't want you to make any sudden moves like that. Officers oh, find a large amount of cash. Ooh. There's 100, 200, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1,400. Inside the interrogation. 1400 cash. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. He doesn't seem to me like a guy who would be, you know, on the streets, you know, running, running drugs or something like that. Um, I don't know. Abdallah doesn't want to speak to the police. I need my attorney. Okay. <laughs> Detective Liz Williams of the Flagler Beach Police Department thinks Abdallah's excuses were creative. His self assurance was impressive. Except for one thing. <laughs> there is. There's a stupid fucking picture of him in the car again. Remember those pictures of the naked man? The images <laughs> that showed his genitalia, um, the head was cropped off. And that unique necklace he wore? It was obviously handcrafted. And that evening when he was at our station, he was wearing the same uh, piece of jewelry <laughs> around his neck. <laughs> oh, he thought he was being so fucking slick, man. Oh, man. Cropping the head off. You know, making sure that they can't see my face. 
I got it. I got it covered. And then, no, you get fucking done in by your own stupid, uh, weird, you know, necklace. I mean, I, it's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I, a guy, a man that's wearing a necklace is kind of weird to me. Um, you know, I've never really seen that, really. Uh, so, I mean, it's kind of odd. But uh, I love how I love this next conversation here, Hansa goes, and what does that tell you? It said you. It was him. It was him. Even though he cropped oh. the head off. Right. I like, oh, I just had to fucking double check there. I love that, too. They make a big deal about that, as if they wouldn't have been able to convict him, you know, without the gobs of evidence that they already had, you know. Um, but no, 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 that's the smoking gun, you know. That's the fucking, you know, that's, that's, that's the piece that puts this all together. I beat L.A. Noir. Oh, my God. Thank God I beat fucking L.A. Noir. Oh, my God. Last weekend, I think it was. Um, yeah, I think it was the last video that I recorded. <laughs> like, I don't even know when that went up. Like, two months ago, something like that. I was like, ah, oh, man, I gotta beat fucking L.A. Noir, even though I hate it. I finally fucking beat it, uh, you know, last weekend. Ah, finally. Hey, Jesus. I can move on to other shit now. Um, but, yeah, it was kind of annoying. Uh, it just seemed to drag on and fucking on, man. I mean, they could have cut some shit out, I think. But, um... You know, it wasn't bad. You know, it wasn't a bad game. It's just really just not my type of, of, of game at all, really. But, uh... You know, some of the things still held up well. I don't know why. I mean, I, 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 this isn't going as long as I thought it was going to. You know, we've only got 30 seconds left, so I gotta kill some <laughs> kill some time here. You know, I don't know when this turned into a gaming review channel, but fuck it. Um, you know, it, it, it was, I didn't think it was a bad game or anything, it's just not, not my type of game that I prefer, you know, I much, much prefer just to shoot fucking people, fast-paced, you know, fucking shit like that. Uh, that game was the complete opposite. <laughs> uh, some of the things in it annoyed me, for sure, but, uh, you know, I, and they kind of shoehorn the story in, at the very end, like, it's kind of weird, you know, the... They, they, they set it up with a bunch of flashbacks beforehand, it all kind of reveals itself at the end, but it seems like it just really shoehorns itself at the end. I wasn't, uh, yeah, just kind of like, ah, oh, fuck, we're running out of fucking time here, we just gotta, bleh, here's everything, here's, here's it all laid out for you. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the, uh, you know, kind of the second half, the second act of the, uh, the final act, I guess, of the game, you know, the story-wise, but, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. It was an interesting story for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not my type of gameplay at all. And now we can continue. If I didn't bore you... <laughs> if I didn't bore you already... And this is great here, you know. This is absolutely great. You know, it's gotta be so humiliating. You know, you're walking out of jail. You've been arrested. And these fucking camera people are still fucking following you around. <laughs> you know, you just have to... You just have to put your head down and fucking keep walking, man. You know, I mean, that's really all you can do. But uh, Mohammed, you know, gives him a look. He's like, "Ah, get out of here." <laughs> he says something. I can't make it out. Later, but uh, it's pretty great. Same exact clothes as well. Oh, it's gotta be so humiliating, you know. Walk of shame. Walk of shame, as they call it. Oh. He's charged with three felony counts, attempting a <laughs> lewd act upon a child, using a computer to send lewd oh, images, man. and using a computer to attempt to seduce a minor. <laughs> That's gotta be a Oh my god, I wish I could be that camera guy, just fucking walking behind this asshole. So awkward, but it's gotta be so great at the same time. Like, how could you not have a fucking smile on your face doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gotta be so great. That'd be like the highlight of my life, which is kind of pathetic, but you know, it's kind of, it would be. Charges carry penalties of up to 15 years oh, in prison. Gosh. He later pleaded not guilty. And because <laughs> I love this too. Like, makes his, citizen, his wife has also been move over to, to, the, to the, the, the passenger side. It's like, no, I'm driving. I'm driving. You know, you came here and bailed me out. Save the day. You know, but no, I'm going to drive. Uh, I have to drive. It's my role. It's my, it's my responsibility. Um, if he's convicted, Abdallah could be deported yeah. after serving his sentence. Oh, God, that's great. Okay. All right, we got that done. Woo-wee! Oh, that was quite good. That was quite good. I actually did enjoy that. Um, yeah, it's just a, a one one that I haven't watched in a long time. So, you know, it's good to get back into it a little bit. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I should do it. I don't really have anything else. I mean, uh, Mohammed Abdallah, of course, we don't really know anything about him outside of this. 
Uh, there's, you know, a few, there's this image, of course, this mugshot, uh, but that's it. Um, yeah, he left the country, fled the country, probably back to uh, Egypt. Uh, so he's he's probably there now. Uh, yeah, and you guys look at these all scumbags here. <laughs> uh, man, good ones, good ones, some good ones. Who the fuck is this? Is that a tea capper? No, it's just somebody else named Muhammad Abdullah Al Mahdi. What did he do? <laughs> oh, he did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. So, yeah, we're pretty much done here. <clears throat> Interesting set of tabs that I have open right now. That's okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, my voice is gone as well, so I think that's a perfect time to end it. So, I hope you guys did enjoy, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.